Hey guys, Clan here. It has been eight months since I did the review of the Nike Mad V3s, and I thought that it was time to make you another review eight months after to share you my experience about those shoes, the pros, the cons, uh, and what you should expect when you're gonna get them. Uh, first of all, we're gonna check if the light works. As you can see, those two lights work, but the EL sheet panel got dead like mm, three or four days after I got them. I did weather them for like 10 hours, probably. And the problem on the EL panels is that right here, you got a weak spot. What is holding each panel is a very thin wire, a very thin one that is into the panels and it's gonna break as soon as you're gonna bend the shoes so know that if you are thinking about getting those shoes to wear them this is gonna break it's just the same thing for everybody I don't know any V3 pair owner that is wearing the, those shoes and didn't break the EL sheet panels. Um, what you can expect to is having troubles with the EL, the, uh, the LED panels too. Uh, why is that? It's pretty simple and I'm gonna try to show you why. It is because as you can see if we manage to get the light into the shoe so I can show you uh, please focus focus on the wires as you can see over there you see the wires into the shoe and it's it is very badly done because you are literally walking on the wires this is why your lights are gonna break. So I wrote on forums that if you put a very thick insole, this can limit the damage of the wires. But I'm, I uh, didn't try it to be honest. For me, it was too late because the EL panels were already broken. Uh, I did modify the. LED bubbles right here as they can see, you can see they are crystal clear and they are not when the, you're gonna buy the V3s and to get this result it is very much simple you just take some nail polish and you apply three to four or five layers to get a perfect result like this um, the pros of the shoes are that they are very comfortable they're probably the best pair of shoes I got but you would tell me it's normal because they are really expensive but some Chinese replica can be not comfortable at all has worth the V2 and um, not worth the money but to me they are they are they're very comfortable the thing is that I do not recommend you to wear them when it's getting hot outside because they are very hot shoes and they are perfect for winter. Um, one of the cons is that if you wear them into the water you're gonna get some marks on the fabric and it's gonna make you wanna wash the shoes every single time you're gonna go outside and it's raining because you're gonna have no water marks on the shoes uh, what else could I tell you about the cons yeah the soles they are very fragile over the time because as you can see please focus it is very thin it is very thin and over the time it will get eaten so you have to glue the sole and the shoe to do, do not have any water going inside of it and these marks on the mag letters it is because I did wear the shoes to drive 
so I do not recommend you to drive with these shoes because this is what's gonna happen to you um, I think that is all for me if you need any information if you have any question just ask in the comment below do not forget to subscribe because I'm gonna probably make some more videos sooner about those shoes since I'm gonna try to mod them more uh, what I can suggest you to is if you have any questions and I'm not replying to you very quickly you can check the website drpf dot so yeah if you get any question just go check the website name it drpf.com and we'll we'll help you if you need any information if you need to know where to get these if you need us to check your quality pictures to tell you if they are the good versions or not of the V3 because now you got an updated version where the LED panels are much better and do not forget to get some clearer soles because the first version were pretty much yellowish that is all hope to see you soon guys do not forget to follow leave a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time ciao